What is up, guys? I'm back. Sorry about the long delay, but we are here again for Meathead Minutes, hopefully with some more consistency this time for a while. Now I know I've said that before, but let's hope this time it actually sticks. In any case, I had to deprioritize making content for a little while. There was a little bit too much going on. I spread myself too thin, and ultimately my mental health was suffering a little bit. So had to put some other things on the front burner, had to put this a little bit on the back burner, but doing better now seems to have evened out stress-wise. We shall see, but I'm glad to be back and making more content for you guys. Tonight, we're gonna talk about a little bit about discipline, but in a different way. So this kind of came from a question one of my patients asked me, asking me, you know, how I stay quote unquote disciplined with, you know, training multiple days a week, trying to keep my diet in line, you know, food prep, this, that, and the other thing. And discipline is one word for it, but it's not a perfect term because when you hear the word discipline, you think, you know, being perfect all the time, you know, the most disciplined people in the world are the ones who never falter. And that's nonsense. So that's not realistic. We're all human. We're all going to screw up. As I said with these minutes, you know, I had to take some time off because life happened. So that's going to happen with your training too. That's going to happen with your diet. So the key to discipline, which I would rather call consistency, is flexibility. And that's especially appropriate this time of year because a lot of us are going to be traveling. We're going to have holiday meals, this, that, and the other thing. And it's important to be flexible if you want to stay consistent. Now, what does that mean? I'll give an example. Last week, had some inclement weather. There were some of my training that was supposed to take place outside. So instead of being like, oh, well, I guess I can't train today, I changed some things around and did a slightly different workout so that I could still get my training in, even though I couldn't go outside to train. Now, that may sound like something small, but in the grand scheme of things, little victories like that are really powerful because instead of just scrapping the whole workout, you went and got some good work in. Now, let's use the travel example. Let's say you're traveling somewhere to see family for the holidays, and oh my God, you don't have room in your bag for your lifting gear. I guess you can't lift, you know, it's all over. Throw that training cycle in the grabber. No, BS. What you can do, go to the gym, see what you have available, bring some intensity down, maybe bring the volume down a little bit, focus on your technique, focus on your control, focus on your sensation. There are so many things that we can do in the gym that don't necessarily require us to go balls to the wall all the time. So by staying flexible, you're still getting some good work in and you can go back to training heavy when you get back to having your own equipment. Diet is the same way. Yes, you wanna eat on point all the time. Everybody wants to be perfect, but again, you're human, it's not possible. So flexibility is important. Let's say my meal plan calls for, you know, most days I eat about four meals, but one day I'm working a little bit too much and I'm not able to get my pre-workout meal in. So to stay flexible, I have a little bit of a smaller meal right when I get home before I go in the gym and have a bigger post-workout meal. Total daily calories and macros are still the same. Yes, it's not optimal, it's not perfect, but I'm still getting to where I need to be. Now, if you're saying, oh, well, the best athletes in the world aren't doing this, that's not true. If you talk to anybody at the highest level, there are times when they have to be flexible and there are times when they're not going to be perfect. And if they tell you otherwise, they're lying. So in the spirit of the holidays, be kind to yourself. Be disciplined by being flexible and you'll get to where you wanna go. If you're rigid, you will wind up using black and white thinking, you'll skip workouts, you'll skip meals, you'll fall completely off the wagon, and you'll wind up losing instead of winning because you were too focused on being perfect. All right, guys, hit me up in the comments if you got any questions, concerns, or if you think I'm an idiot because of everything I just said. Either way, it's great to be back, and I will talk to you next time. Dr. Meathead out.